how concerned are you right now where our economy is? Uh, well, I mean, we have the best economy in the country. You know, number, uh, North Carolina has the number one GDP in the country over the last three years, 13.4% compared to 1.5% nationally. Uh, that's huge numbers. Number one, we've been rate, rated last two years number one state to do business by Site Selection Magazine. We were just ranked number three in the nation by CEO Chief Executive Magazine, number three place to do business. Forbes has ranked us number one, uh, best place to do business, best place to grow a business, raise a family. Uh, North Carolina is a great economy. Is this a blip on the radar? Absolutely. Was it a blip to Houston when Houston tried to pass the same law, the same threats were made, the same people started pulling out? Um, you know, the same kind of issues. What have we lost? Business-wise, I don't know that we've lost any business. PayPal cited they weren't going to create 400 new jobs in North Carolina, but is it really an ideological battle for PayPal? They still operate in the other 28 states. They still operate in North Carolina, by the way. They still have people, employees here. They didn't pull out. Uh, they still operate in the other 28 states that have the same law we have. They still operate with the federal government who has the same law we have. They still operate in Saudi Arabia and Yemen who not only persecute the LGBT community, they execute the LGBT community. If it was an ideological battle, they would have pulled out of there long ago. It's not. It's a political battle. And so you have these companies that see uh, or smell political blood in the water, and so they're using that as that battle. And you have the entertainment industry, of course they're going to stand on, on, uh, on that platform. They always have. Do we want people pulling out their entertainment? Pull no, of course not. I mean, but yeah, is a battle worth fighting? Uh, sure. So, that's, so you're talking about a battle that's for about the foundation of our country, the constitution of our country. How does it operate? How are laws made? What's the process you're supposed to go through to do this?